Okay, so here's another real common hitch that you're going to use in the field craft a lot, especially in shelter construction. This is the taut line hitch. Sometimes called the Boy Scout hitch. Um, next to the truckers is probably the one I use uh, most often. So we're going to come down here. I've got a line uh, attached off camera. So you can see that I've got the, the working end here. And we're going to pretend this is my tree because it's just very inhospitable outside today. So you probably see the, the taut line hitch uh, in some other videos out in the field. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go around the tree. Okay? And then uh, I've got a lot of extra line here. But essentially I'm going to take the working end. There's my standing end closest to you. And I'm going to cross over my standing end. So now I've made a loop. The loop is around the, around the tree. Okay? And I'm going to hold that crossing. Just going to kind of pinch that crossing for a moment, right? Right there. Now I've got that loop and that crossing. I'm going to pull my working end through my loop and over once, twice, make two full turns. Okay? Then I'm going to pull through one more time. So now I've made two full turns around the standing line uh, inside inside that loop. Now I'm going to let loose of the crossing. So you've got the two full turns. It looks like three turns, but it's two full and then that half where I first did the crossing. I'm going to take my working end out of the loop and run it up along the standing part, cross over again, and then bring the line up through that new loop. Right. And then just kind of dress that knot up by sliding that down. Right. Tighten the whole thing up a little bit. And then you'll see four turns around the standing line. The uh, farthest one up uh, from the hitch, uh, hitching element, is going to be the last turn I did. That's basically a crossed half hitch. And I have the original crossing and the two turns inside the loop. Now just like the Prusik, uh, this barrel will bite down on the standing line so when I pull, the standing line will not let that loop collapse. But I can take the barrel and hold the standing line and I can slide that further up the line and it'll hold, uh, it'll pull that line taut because it kind of kinks the line there, that little barrel bites down on itself. And this taut line hitch, uh, you see this most often, we use this with stakes or guy outlines. Um, it's just a good way to have an adjustable line. If I need a little less tension because I have to move the stake or I want to move my weight further away to tighten my tarp, I can slide that barrel and loosen that line up. Or I can grab the standing end inside the loop and slide that hitch up to get more tension on it. So that's the taut line hitch. All right, I'll show you that one more time. The construction of it. It's really just the, the coiling, and it just has to be done uh, in the right order. So I'm going to go around my tree. Right? I'm going to run my working end over my standing end and make a simple crossing. Right? You can tie this kind of loose because it slides up and down, so it, won't, uh, it doesn't have to be too tight yet. I'm going to hold that crossing with my right hand, right? and then I'm going to bring my working end up through the inside of my loop three times, which will make me two complete loops. I'll push those up against the crossing, and I've got those three. Now the working end will come outside of the loop, running back toward the standing end uh, parallel, make a second crossing, and bring the working end up through that new loop. Tighten that down, dress that knot up, okay. sort of tighten it up, dress it up, and now it's even though it's kind of slack right now, I can grab that uh, coil and slide that up my standing rope until it tightens up, and I've got quite a bit of tension on there. Okay. That's the taut line or the Boy Scout hitch.